is him. It's your coming. If you put that problem in you, problem you brought it all with you will vanish in Jesus' name. Even if you were born black, he will vanish you with this lost name. Any life, any kind of body that is on your chair is part of you. And you can do this all. You see, they all listen away today in Jesus' age, great, great heart of an all inclusive faith. He said, Sister, have I known the name of Jesus Christ Nazareth? Rise up, and what did he do? Get up and to walk, live, king, and then you walk well, into the temple. See, faith will do it in you your life, and it will do it in your life. And you will see, you will not know any ability or any Jesus Christ said him. And that's why guys is saying unto it that believe all support unto him. That believe chapter 7, Matthew chapter 17, from verse Matthew chapter 16, in at verse 20, and Jesus said, Because of your unbelief, for belly of you, certainly unto you, I sure I say, without any shadow of doubt, I say unto you, ye have faith, grain of most, ye shall say, ye shall say, ye shall say, and what you say matters a lot. What Caleb said matters. That thing that Caleb said kept him alive for 45 years. What you say? That thing that Joshua said kept him alive for more than 45 years. And he went to the land of Canaan. And then what the other people said, the giants sat there, were not able, were weak, we may die in the wilderness. To say matters a lot. Today I say I am well. Today I say I am made whole. Today I say I am strong. Today I say my mountains are gone. My problems are solved. My challenges are resolved. Today I say my sickness is healed. Today I say my affliction is God. Today I say I am delivered. If he shall say, if he shall say, if he shall say unto this mountain, unto this mountain, look at your life and look at the possibilities and the potential and the power of this all inclusive faith. And then you come with this incorruptible faith. You come with this all-inclusive faith and then you look at your mountain directly and then you say unto that mountain, this mountain you will not remain in this life of mine after the prayer and it will be so. I said it will be so and it is so already in Jesus' name. If you have a faith, as a grain of mustard seed, it shall say unto this mountain, remove hands to yonder place, and it shall remove, 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 and it shall remove unto you with all the of sickness, all the impulse that made possible, all the challenges on in Jesus' name. My Mark chapter 11, reading from verse 20, chapter 11. Mark chapter 22, and he to them. And Jesus answering says, He changes not. Jesus said yesterday, today, and forever. What he said, he's saying today. What he said, he's repeating the same thing to you and me. And he said unto them, He says, in verse 22, Have a God. What problem do you have? Have God. What mountains see? Faith. What challenge do you have? Have faith. What difficulty front you life? Have faith. What are the things that bring headache, heartache, chase in God? The secret of victory and the secret of success is to have this all if you see God. And when that happens to you, and it's in red. I said it's in your. That's what the Lord is telling you here today. All those problems, all those things, the big notice. Because of this, all in faith, everything will vanish away in jail. Think God for verily and surely without shout doubt say unto you, Who shall say unto their mountain, whosoever, whosoever, who is where are they? 
whosoever is that whosoever looking for you. I'm looking for whosoever, whosoever, whoever I am. I am that whosoever. I said I'm that I rejoice with you. your name is name is there already. Your name I want with you. whosoever. I'm looking at you now. I your sick as well. I am the who and when the time is I said to so ever and all man in Jesus' name. But shall we unto this mountain? Do you say to your mountain? What will you say to your sickness? What will you say to your weakness? What will you say to your infirmity? What will you say to your poverty? What will you say to the bad law? What will you say to possibilities to your life? Say to all the fire and money. Say to the mountain today. And whosoever, and whosoever, and whosoever say, this mountain, be thou removed and be the to the sea. I shall not doubt her. I shall not doubt in his heart. Doubt every doubt in every heart. If you doubt, get away, Jesus. I tell the devil, not any fear. Pack your load and go in Jesus' name. Your heart is free of doubting. Your life is free of doubting. Your prayer is free from doubting. And when you stand, you stand in confidence and faith and trust in the Lord. There will be no doubt in your heart in Jesus' name. I shall not doubt. I shall not doubt. I shall not doubt in his heart. But shall believe that those things which he says, those things which he say today, Six which you say today. I said those six which you say today, they'll be fulfilled in Jesus' name. And then it says they will come to pass. He shall have whatsoever he says. I will have whatsoever I say. I will have whatsoever I say. I will have whatsoever I say. Therefore it's twenty four. Therefore, 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 because that is sure. You have what's it? Be sure that you can say to this, and no shash of doubt. This I see because you are sure, sure to go. Therefore, I say unto you, What even ye pray, believe that you shall have, have them. You shall have them. Have your miracle, your healing already in Jesus' name. Number three, growing power, the growing power in faith, the growing power. Oh, and in faith, oh, your faith is not ready. I said this is increasing in body. That faith will bring growing power. Power and if at the time, this day, this is the moment, and every picture will roll away. Then will punch away. Every picture will vanish. Every sickness will vanish away. In Jesus, every weakness and every yielding to that will vanish away because of this of faith or increased faith and increasing faith it's your heart and it's your life it's this of one second thessalonians i'm reading verse three chapter one verse three now to solve you i am thanking god i thank god for you because of the faith you have because of, you have, because of your loyalty to the cause of god be leaning upon the lord your God, that's God for you, and as we thought for you, yes, you will not fail in Jesus. I want to thank God always for you. And it is me because of faith, faith grows exceedingly. Your faith grows exceedingly. And then it says, and the charity of every one of you all towards each other abounds. And the good blessings of the Lord will abound in your life in Jesus' name. And now you're saying in verse 11, wherefore also we pray always for you, that our God will count you worthy of this calling and fulfill all his good pleasure, and fulfill all his good promises, and fulfill all his good grant, fulfill pleasure upon your life. It shall be fulfilled in Jesus' name. Wherefore we also pray. He has already praised the Lord for them. He has already thanked the Lord for them. After praising the Lord on their behalf, now he's praying for them that not to let that their faith, increasing faith, will bring growing power. But he says he's also praying that our God will count you worthy of this calling to fulfill. Everybody say fulfill. Say fulfill. All is good pleasure. 
all his good pleasure. The pleasure of the Lord, the plan of the Lord, the program of the Lord, the provision of the Lord, the promises of the Lord, all will be fulfilled in your life in Jesus' name. And it says, and the work of faith will power. And the work of faith will power that the name of our Lord Jesus Christ may be glorified in you and ye in him. The name of the Lord will be glorified in your life. In your salvation, the name of the Lord will be glorified. In your Holy Ghost, the name of the Lord will be moving out of your life. The name of the Lord will be glorified in answer to your prayer. And God fulfill it. All to pleasure, the name of the Lord will be glorified in your life. In Jesus' name. And ye in him, according to the grace of our God and the Lord Jesus Christ. This day, you will see the glory of God. The mountains will roll away. Problems will roll away. And all the things that are in your life, disturbing your life, everything will roll away in Jesus' name. John chapter 14. John chapter 14. I'm reading 12. John chapter 14. Verily, verily, I say unto you, Who is this you the Lord is talking to? Who is this you the Lord is talking to? You in particular, the word in head will be fulfilled in your life in Jesus' name. Verily, verily, I say unto you that he that believeth on me, the works that I do shall he do also, and greater works than these shall he do because I go unto my Father. It says, everything Jesus did when he was here on earth, everything will be fulfilled in your life. If you are blind, your blind eyes will open. If you are deaf, those deaf ears will open. If your tongue is tied and you cannot talk, the tongue that is tied will be loosed and speak in Jesus' name. And if you have a whatever that cripples your life, disturbs your life, destroys your life, because if Jesus were here today in the physical, he roll everything away. And the Lord is rolling everything away right now. He's taking everything away right now because he said, He that believeth on me, the works I shall he do also, and greater works than he shall he do, because I go unto my Father in verse 13, and whatsoever, and whatsoever, and whatsoever, the whosoever is asking for whatsoever, that means anything, anything whatsoever, he shall ask in my name. That will I do, that the Father may be glorified in the Son. If he asks anything in my name, what did he say? What did he say? What did he say? If he asks anything in my name, I will do it. This is the time. This is the day that anything will be fulfilled. Nay, we're looking at Ephesians chapter 3, Ephesians chapter 3, anything, anything whatsoever, anything whatsoever is going to be accomplished. I said it's going to be accomplished. When the whosoever stands up in faith, in confidence, in trust, and then the whosoever is asking for whatsoever, the Lord is giving us the assurance if he asks anything in my name. I will do it. Ephesians chapter 3. Ephesians chapter 3. I'm reading from verse 20. Ephesians chapter 3. Verse 20. Now unto him that is able to do. Is your God able? Is he able to heal you? Is he able to deliver you? Is he able to solve your problem? Is he able to roll the mountain away? Is he able to destroy the works of the devil? Is he able to make you strong? Is he able to make you whole? Is he able to meet all the needs of your life? Yes, our God is able. And it says, I hope to him that is able to do exceeding abundantly. Think about that. To do even beyond what you see. Even beyond what you need, even beyond what you are thinking about, is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all 
that as or see according to the power that walketh where where in them some people out there what the power walking tell me out loud tell me out loud why don't you stand up and let that power begin to work the power that walketh in us the power that walketh in us in your system, in your body, in your tummy, in your head, in your heart, in your spirit, in your very life, in your family. The power that walketh in us. The, po the power, the power that walketh in us. This glorious power walking in us. This great power walking in us. This growing power walking in us. The power that walketh in us. The power the power, power that saves, power that heals, power that sanctifies, power that baptizes in the Holy Ghost, power anointing, the power that heals the sick, the power that gets all the infirmities gone, the power that removes all your pain, the power that releases you from infirmity, that power that walketh in us, that power that walketh in us, the power that opens the eyes of the blind. The power that makes the lame to walk, and the power that makes the deaf to hear, the power that delivers those who are sin, the power that releases the people that are mad, the power that brings total breakthrough in our lives, the power that gives us success, the power that makes you more than a conqueror, the power that walks in us is working now, is working now, is working now. That's why you are telling the Lord, oh Lord, I am here, I am the whosoever. I'm whatsoever I ask and whatsoever I demand you are going to give me this the power is working within me the power that walketh, the power that walketh, the power that walketh, walking in us walking in us your sickness is going your infirmity is going your weaknesses are going kindness is going the deafness is going and the arthritis is going, all the things, the insanity is going, the tuberculosis is going, it's going, it's going. The power that walketh in us is working right now. Your poverty is going, your bad luck is going, the curse is going. There is a power, the power that walketh in us is working right now, it's working right now, it's working right now, it's working in your heart. It's working in your life. It's working in your body. It's working in your brain. It's working in your stomach. It's working in your intestine. It's working in your kidney. It's working everywhere. It's working in your bone. The power.